हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम टू द न्यू टेक्निकल वीडियो आई होप ऑल आर यू डूइंग गुड दिस इज मास्टर प्रिंस नाउ टुडे आई वांट टू शेयर अ समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग केस राइट नाउ दिस केस कंफ्यूज मेनी टेक्नीशियंस सो आई थॉट मेक अ स्मॉल वीडियो ऑन इट नाउ दिस इज अ ओप्पो फोन राइट नाउ दिस फोन आई रिसीव फ्रॉम ए अनदर शॉप फ्रॉम ए अनदर डीलर नाउ दिस फोन हैड अ प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू द ग्राफिक्स एंड द लाइट clear so let me show you first so on the top corner there is a charger connected right and when we connect a charger here look at the consumption start it is 1.5 ampere directly that means this phone turn on and it's vibrate it's vibrate also that means this is a completely turn on right now it's 0.4 1.1 that means behind this there is a logo but when you look at the screen there is no visibility no graphics no light nothing 1.1 ampere consuming the phone is turn on also the vibrate so this is a light or graphic issue a basically a blank display issue many time i solved this type of the faults but why i make a video especially video for related to this because this is something interesting that confuse many technicians i already told you why when i look at the motherboard right first of all when i receive this phone and i look at the motherboard on the upper side it's look fine normal nothing there is no issue when i open the motherboard let's say i remove it all the flexes and uh, on the this part there is some someone cut the shield right there is something damage also here now there is a graphic ic and the light ic i will show you in a microscope first let me go to the microscope now look at this this is your light ic a six leg light ic a light coil a boost coil and there is a diode on the upper side this is a graphic ic right now look at here someone peel this shield uh, upper first layer so when i look at the motherboard right i thought clearly this is a open line issue due to first layer open any component does not get a proper value or to the connector any line break so so i check the connector first of all that all the diode value and all the diode value were fine completely okay nothing no clue after we measure the voltages as the system goes on we measure the voltages vsp vsn everything look good nothing there is no problem in it now in this situation many technician directly jump onto the cpu on a cpu section under the cpu directly remove the cpu revolve the cpu if a beginner student let's say any beginner they damage the pcb also in it because there is no light so customer according to the customer it's in a dead condition but sometime the data is important for the customer right now that time you have to cautious when you follow the basic rules sometimes you will get a clue or you will resolve the problem in a seconds if you remove the cpu if you revolve the cpu the fault remain same because the fault in somewhere else where is the fault just i do it a basic strategy a basic section a basic things follow i remove all the unnecessary things like camera all the cameras the charging flex the on off switch flex all the unnecessary if there is any sensor connected i remove the sensor also then we check in any case let's say in a network case dead case if any case come to you now i'll show you where is the fault now this phone come to me with on a blank display and the no light issue when i start the diagnosis on a first step we measure the diode value okay on a mep lines on a data lines on a light section vio vsn vsp all the diode value were 100% in a okay condition no fault in it everything look good uh, okay now after this we measure the voltages 
a step by step now every voltage also look good everything fine now that time many technician confused what is the next step the many technician revolve directly to the revolve a cpu because i think this is a cpu issue due to physical damage or anything due to dryness cpu does not respond they revolve the cpu but sometime but some beginners revolving the cpu process damage the pcb now the data is most important for the customer some customer demand we need a data if a beginner revolving a cpu process because according to the customer this phone is a dead they revolve the cpu in a cpu they damage the pcb a healthy pcb but not follow the basic work when i follow the basic work the solution in a just in a 5 second now what is the solution what is the basic work i solve many issues through the basics when i follow the basics if we have a good knowledge but when we did not follow the basics right we struggle a lot in my every video i always told you always follow the basics strong your basics so what are the basics so whenever a phone come to you with any fault let's say after a systematic repair after follow the systematic steps if you did not found the short if you did not found the fault anyway just do the basic things remove all unnecessary parts unnecessary accessories call like camera charging flex sensors on off switch because due to this many issues create sometimes and i have solved many issues now talk about this phone right in this phone there is a problem related to the volume up button now volume up button short with the ground right when you connect any power source let's say a charger or press the on off switch it will go to the recovery mode it will goes to the recovery or edl mode that's why it's stuck right that's why it's stuck somewhere so it does not show you the display let me show you now i just do one thing right now this is the pcb i just cover up the buttons right now i connect a charger okay now let me connect a charge charger connected and the display comes look at here right so sometime a small basic things play a big role or play a major role that's why always follow the basic rules i hope you get my point so if you like this information if you think this is a good information give me a comment show me your love in comments right share this video and if you want to work in a systematic way if you want to learn a deep level schematics how to work according to the schematics a step by step repairing soon we will give you a new year offer right so wait for the offer i will teach you the depth knowledge of the schematics in our classes so wait for the offer we will meet you in the next video thank you so much love you all bye bye